If you're watching this, you're probably thinking to yourself, okay, I think I wanna create an online course, but I have no idea where to start. And starting is truly half the problem. And I wanted to make this video because I've talked a lot about creating online courses. It's what I do, it's what I eat, sleep, and breathe. I love it so much because it's one of the most amazing ways to get your story, your experience, your skills, and use them to create a really big impact on those who need it most. But the biggest issue around online courses is truly how to start and how to start the right way. The online course industry is expected to be a 300 60 billion dollar industry by 2026 but so many people have tried to create courses and they're still hearing crickets so in this video i wanted to break down into four very simple and proven steps to start your online course get it off the ground and get paying clients in the door if you're excited about that simple thing you can do is just hit that like button the whole mission of this channel is to make entrepreneurship available to everyone because i really do believe it's the best way to make your mark and your legacy in this world so please do subscribe and hit the notification bell for new videos every single week okay so let's get into it so i'm going to show you the four steps to starting your online course and i'm going to do this without creating unnecessary friction fancy technology a funnel, or even a website, because none of those are necessary to starting your course. The only three things you need are traffic, a desirable offer, and clients. I've been in the online course industry for almost six years now, and I've helped thousands of people all over the world share their unique genius and package it through their online course. It's highly impactful and highly transformational. And I've taken my clients from zero all the way up to 100,000 to $3 million a year with their online course. What I've learned and discovered is that I've created a signature method that can be duplicatable to anyone who wants to start and create their online course. And it all starts with the foundation. So the entire method is called the rocket method. And we're going to start with the R, which stands for research, reach, revenue, and results. That is the entire foundation of your online course business. It's what gets you off the ground, validates your offer, and allows you to start scaling. The reason I created this method is because I made so many mistakes when I was getting started in the online course industry, and I really had to learn through trial and error. And so this is the most efficient path to take your idea and turn it into an actual business. Most guidance when it comes to creating online courses to actually create it before you validate it and find an audience of buyers. But the way that we do it is we really flip that around to make it more efficient. And the reason for that is because in working with so many people, I've identified that there are really three C's that are vital to creating a really healthy foundation for your entire business. And those three C's are cash flow, so that you can grow your business with peace of mind and financial security, confidence in your offer, because how often do people just think about an idea but never actually do anything about it because it's too scary to get it into the real world? It happens all the time. So the way that I'm gonna do this with you today in these four steps is gonna get you over that hurdle so that you can really start building that confidence and knowing what you have to offer is truly valuable and impactful. And then the final C stands for results. And results are truly the lifeblood of any successful business. If you don't have a product or a service that actually works and people love and they rave about, then it's gonna be really, really hard to create a business that lasts and truly creates the legacy that you want it to leave. Now, before we dive into the first step, I did wanna share the three key factors that are vital to creating a course that actually sells and can scale. And those three factors are one ideal client at one specific place on their journey seeking one specific transformation. Those three things really will be the key to hitting your groove and being able to grow your business. So I want you to keep that in mind as we go through these four steps. Let's get into it. The first step is research. I always say research before you record and research before you do anything else in your business because without doing the research, you're gonna put so much time and effort into building something and you don't really know if it's going to work or if there's even an audience for it. So in researching, it's really broken down into three steps. And those three steps are your hero story, market research, and then ICAs, which I will explain in just a second. So let's start with your hero's story, which I have mentioned lots of times before, because for me, it really is the foundation of a business that stands out and that is totally unique to you. And it allows you to do something that we like to call micro niching, because the old way of doing business and finding a niche was to go really broad and to find some broad category that you think you could succeed in because other people have. But because 
Everything is so saturated now. The only way to really be able to stand out and to grow from zero is to really understand your unique micro niche, which is tied to your personal story. So I wanted to share a quick example because remember I mentioned one specific ideal client at one specific place on their journey seeking one specific transformation. Well, one of my clients recently shared the transformation statement for her online course. And I actually talked about it in last week's video. So just as a refresher, this is it. I help single women heal father wounds, embrace feminine energy, and go from attracting toxic relationships to healthy relationships so that they can finally have their forever family. One specific ideal client is single women. One specific place on their journey is going from attracting toxic relationships. And the one specific outcome and transformation is finally having their forever family. And here's how powerful doing this as the foundation of your entire business truly is. Chantelle had been at this and trying to figure out how to start her online course for five years before we started working together. And she had spent tens of thousands of dollars on business coaches, courses, all these different programs, and nothing was really helping her because her category and her niche was really broad. So she wasn't able to stand out and really attract clients. So she came into our program and within two months, this is what happened by using this as the foundation. Chantel wrote, I'm blown away. In two months, she was able to start her program, get it off the ground and generate $13,000 in revenue for her business. So the lesson here is that your most profitable and best business idea doesn't come from out there, it comes from within. And it really is tied to your own unique experience, skill set, career expertise, your story, any obstacle that you've overcome, and the lessons that you have learned. And you want to think about it like this. You have a zero state and you have a hero state and everyone goes through transformations in their lives. So you want to think what is the most powerful transformation that I've been through and what is the impact that I want to create through the lessons that I have learned. And that's going to give you some ideas of that zero state, that hero state, and all the lessons in between that could very much so become your unique online course. Now, I dig into this even deeper inside of my free masterclass. You can check that out at the link below, but I do want to give you some other ideas on how you can really flush this out, but it really comes from doing the next step, which is market research. So let's dive into some of the things that you can do in market research to really understand and identify what your unique niche is going to be. And your course is going to be that you put out into the world. So once you've gone internal and looked at your own experience, which is ultimately the thing that is going to really help you stand out, it's then time to look out in the world and look for what I call proof of profit. What is currently out there that serves an ideal client that would be very similar to your ideal client, which spoiler alert, your ideal client is usually a mirror for you when you were at your most challenged, frustrated, zero state. So think about it in terms of when you were seeking a solution and you were seeking the impact that you now want to have on people, what were you looking at? What were the resources that you were diving into? So here are some prompts for you to get started on that and start doing market research. What are the top YouTube channels in this category? What are the top courses on the market and offers on the market in this category? For some ideas around this, you can look at places like Skillshare and Udemy. What are the top books related to this category and who are the experts that are writing them? Best place to go is to look on Amazon. And I've mentioned this before, but you always want to go and look at the best and the worst reviews for those books, because that's going to give you intel and insight into what is missing in the market and what you can bring with your own unique take in your course. Next is who are the influencers? Who are the people that are talking about this? Who are the people that are speaking on stage about this? Who are the people that are sought after as the go-to experts and influencers and authorities in this niche? You can go to blogs, Google, YouTube, Instagram, and really dive into comment sections to truly understand who you're going to be serving. By doing this foundational research that's both internal and external, you are setting yourself up for success. So you're not going into this blind and you're not creating a course and then hearing crickets. And this leads us to the next step, which is reach. And this is where we dive into what I refer to as ICAs. ICA stands for ideal client avatar. And the reason this is so important is because if you create something without knowing exactly what it's for, you're never going to reach the person that needs it the most. So we created your story and really dove internally earlier because it helps you identify who it is that you're serving, which as I mentioned earlier, is really a reflection of who you were when you most needed this solution. And now it's about going and finding those people because the biggest problem that happens when people start a course is they might start it, but then they don't know who to sell it to or who's actually going to buy it. So to navigate that, we're going to create your list of buyers before you even create your course. And this is how you do it. 
You are going to use some of those prompts that I mentioned earlier in market research to really identify where your ideal clients are hanging out online. And part of this process is also understanding who you do want to work with and who you don't want to work with, which are both equally important because as you grow a business, if you have all different kinds of clients that you work with, with all different kinds of needs, it makes it really hard to scale and grow. So we want to get hyper specific. And the best way to do that, shocker, is to actually talk to real human beings. And that's why this is so powerful. Because your job as an entrepreneur is to truly understand how to solve the problem that your ideal client is facing. And you may think you know, but you don't really know until you do this process. So this is not about selling. This process is strictly to understand and build relationships with the people that you are excited to serve and you can have the most impact on. And even if you're starting from zero, that's okay. I've worked with many people who are starting from absolute scratch and sometimes that even works in your benefit because you're building the right audience in the right way from the beginning. And if you have an audience, that works too. But I think the key thing to remember is that you can't expect and wait for people to come to you and want to buy what you have to sell. You have to get out there and build the relationships and that's part of this process. And step two, reach. This is actually a process that I still do to this day. And one of the easiest things to do is if you have an Instagram account, if you go on Instagram and you search a certain hashtag. So let's say you are an oil painter and you put in the hashtag oil paint and all of these posts that come up, you check them out, check out the profiles. And if it's somebody who looks like they would be super perfect for the course that you're creating and you'd love to speak with them, simply go and follow them, like their content, leave a thoughtful comment and send them a voice note, introducing yourself and telling them why you love their profile and their content. If you take 20 minutes a day and do this to connect with new people, it's not only going to build an audience, but it's going to build a hyper targeted audience and a really amazing community of like minded people. Another amazing way to do this is to create polls. So you can simply put up a poll on your Instagram story on Facebook, on YouTube community, and you can say, Hey, are you struggling with X? Yes or no. And if people say yes, you can reach out to them individually so you can actually speak to them. And I'm going to share what kind of questions you want to ask to do this research, to really understand your ideal client avatar in just a second. You want to think about the internet as this amazing community where your people are waiting for you to show up and help them and really understand them. So everything from, as I said, YouTube comments, Instagram comments, hashtags, Facebook groups, people are out there waiting for you to support them. So let me show you a real world example of how easy this can be and what kind of content you can share and message you can share to create a relationship and to build that community of your ideal clients and potentially your buyers. One of my clients is a gouache artist. And so he was needing to find ideal clients to build up his audience and his community and to do research for the course he wanted to create. So a really simple thing that he did is he went onto Facebook, he searched gouache artists, and chose all of the groups that came up to join. And it opened him up to thousands of people that were just like him seeking the same things that he was seeking when he first got started as an artist. Same thing on Instagram. He went over there, searched gouache artists on Instagram, found all of these amazing artists to connect with and started building those relationships. Now, not only does this create an opportunity for you to build an audience from scratch and connect individually one-on-one -on -one with people, but it's also an opportunity to start getting your content out there and start providing value. So you can really nurture the relationship with this community so they see you as the expert and authority. So here's a little checklist you want to have for when you're creating content to be seen as an expert so that people will eventually want to invest into your course. So every piece of content that you create should include at least some of these factors to make it relevant to who you want to serve and engaging. So the content checklist looks like this. Is it educating your ideal client on something that they need to know? Is it providing context to your experience and your authority and your story of why you're so good at this thing? Is it problem solving? Is it sharing an execution plan to help your ideal client achieve their zero to hero state? Is it relevant to your ideal client's pain, struggle, or challenge? And most importantly, is there a clear call to action for engagement and for that person to connect with you on a deeper level? Because that is how you turn followers, subscribers, and random strangers on the internet into long-term relationships and clients. Now you're probably thinking, okay, so I've started to build my audience and I've started to expand my reach. Now what? 
<laughs> so now I'm gonna give you some prompts to actually have conversations with these people, whether that's via voice note on DM or it's actually on a Zoom conversation. These are some really great prompts to truly get into the mind of your ideal client to understand what they need from you so you can create a course that is a no brainer for them to invest in and get a transformation from. A few questions to ask that will give you great intel and information are, if you were to search for the solution to your problem with X on Google or YouTube, what keywords or phrases would you use? What other things have you bought or invested in to try and solve this problem? And ideally they'll share books, workshops, therapists, conference, home remedies, all these things they've tried that will give you an insight into what they might be interested in. If you could wave a magic wand and create a solution that delivered everything you needed to solve this problem, what would it include? And here's the really cool thing. When you sit down with people, when you have these conversations, when you ask these questions, you're then building that core foundational relationship for them to trust you and to see you as the expert. So then once you have your course ready to go and to sell, these are going to be the first buyers of your program. This brings us to step number three, which is revenue. And now you've built out that audience of buyers and you know how valuable this solution is to them. So they are going to be the first people that you go to and say, Hey, you know, when we had that conversation, I'm so grateful for everything you shared with me. And it allowed me to create something that is really going to help you and create that transformation that you're seeking. If you want to talk about it with me, I'd love to hop on another call with you. or I'd love to tell you more about it. Now, in terms of pricing, I did talk about this in depth in another video, so you can check that out here and here, but I want to share exactly how this works and why this is so powerful. So now you've done your research, you know, internally and externally, why this course is going to be so helpful to people and who you're serving because you've also understood how to create reach. And now at the revenue point, when you are able to sell, it actually happens quite quickly because you're not creating a course and hoping people will buy it. You actually know that they will because you've built those relationships. So let me show you a few examples of how well this has worked for our clients. And just so you know, we call this a pop profitable offer prototype because it's the first version of your course and we get it off the ground in 30 days. This is where those three C's come in. You get cash flow in the door, you have confidence in selling your offer and you're getting real clients to create real client results so that you can actually grow the business and grow the course. Samira launched her pop and in 30 days, she was able to generate $12,000 for her program, which is in the niche of weight loss and building muscles without dieting. Felicia launched her pop and in 30 days was able to generate $50,000 in revenue. And her niche is government contract accelerator program for small business owners. And Mark launched his pop, the authentic selling accelerator, how to sell like a pro, even if you're not a natural. And he sold 11 people into his program and he made nearly $20,000 in 30 days. Maria Mountain created a program called the Game Winning Goalie Formula, off-ice hockey training for hockey goalies, and she generated $30,000 in revenue in 30 days. When you take the time to do the proper research, truly understand your client, and really build your reach from scratch, this can happen faster than you think, and you can get that program off the ground much more efficiently than trying to build the whole thing, do a bunch of guesswork, and hope that it sells. This takes us to step four, which is all about results. And the real key here is that you actually haven't built your course at this point, and you are going to deliver it live to test it. That's why we call it a profitable offer prototype, because it is the first version of your program and you don't want to build the whole thing and then have to go back and fix it and rework it and re-edit it. Cause that's going to take valuable time away from actually creating an impact on the people you want to serve. So how you deliver this and get results for your clients is in three parts. You have your curriculum, you have your support, and you have your community. So for your first group of clients, you're going to deliver your curriculum live to your clients over the span of about eight weeks, once a week live on Zoom. You're going to support them via Q and A's and also through your private community, which oftentimes can be a Facebook group. And you're building out a community of people who are all getting results at the same time and can support one another, which really does accelerate the proof of your program working. And it creates this incredible mastermind environment and culture where everyone really is rooting for each other. And this is what I mean when I say we have a low tech approach. Your clients are enrolled and the delivery for this first version of your program is simply done via Zoom. And then you can use Google Drive to supply any supplemental resources, check or pieces of your curriculum. And then you can use Facebook groups as your private community for everyone to connect. And during this period of testing the first version of your offer, your only focus is on your clients because you have the cash flow in the door. You know, the offer is sellable because people have bought it. Now you really want to focus on giving them results because that's going to help you sell it and scale it moving forward. And here's the really cool thing. 
So once you deliver this first version of your program, your pop, you're then going to package it, use all the feedback that you've learned from your clients, make it even better, and turn it into an evergreen version of your program. So pre-recorded curriculum, weekly support calls that are set up for your clients at regular times, and then your private Facebook community, which will just continue to grow and thrive with new clients and new members as your program becomes even more validated and more desirable. Here's why this is so important, because all of these R's, these first four steps of research, reach, revenue, and results, it's building the foundation based off of really clear messaging. And when you have clear messaging, your entire business is built to take off and it allows everything else moving forward to become so much more of a smooth process. You know exactly what kind of content to create, you know exactly what kind of audience members you want on social media, you know exactly who you're trying to reach and you know what you wanna be known for. And as I've mentioned in recent videos, that is vital to your success and to your growth because every algorithm needs to know those two factors who you're trying to reach and what you wanna be known for in order for the algorithm to actually help you reach more of those people. And once you've done this first initial test and you've started your course and you've gotten it off the ground, now you have an entire baseline to work off of and you can focus on data and numbers and not get caught in the roller coaster of emotions that is entrepreneurship because you know how many people enrolled how much effort it took to enroll them and what activities actually led to the most lead generation for your business. And business simply put is just focusing on those activities that have worked and doubling down on them. So now you have that information and you truly do know how to grow based off of the baseline of the metrics that you have accumulated in doing this first initial round of your course. And those important metrics to pay attention to, we call them the metrics that matter, are these. Traffic, leads, clients, client results, revenue, cash collected, and profit. And once you know the data behind those key metrics, how much traffic you need, how many leads you need, and how many clients you're realistically gonna convert based off of those numbers, you then can create so much consistency moving forward and stay laser focused because you don't have to try a whole bunch of different things because you already know what works. And this brings me back to my very simple flywheel concept that runs our entire business and really is the basis behind a successful online course business. It all starts with having a really amazing program, which now you do after doing this test and then enrolling people into the program so you actually can prove that people will buy it. From there, creating an incredible transformation for those clients. And then from there, those people become your greatest ambassadors and testimonials, which drives even more people to enroll in your amazing program. And all of a sudden your flywheel starts working on its own and your business starts to grow on autopilot. But it all starts with these four R's as your foundation. And from there, we move into the rest of the rocket method. So from there, you basically take what you've learned in the first round of your course and getting those paying clients in the door and you optimize. After that, you're then going to create consistency because you're gonna understand your KPIs, which are your metrics that matter and create the baseline for you to grow from. From there, you're gonna evolve your offer, make it better, do a version two or three. And then finally, you become the trusted authority in your space. So you're the no brainer for people to buy from. And like I said, I can't cover the entire method in this video, but I do go over this in a lot more depth in my masterclass, which you can find at the link below. I've been doing this for a long time and I can tell you that this process and these four R's are duplicatable across any niche. We've worked with people in every niche you can possibly think of, but these are the fundamental pieces to getting started and to growing. I really hope this was helpful for you and simple to digest. If you need to watch it again, go for it and be sure to share it with somebody who also is looking to share their unique genius on a bigger stage using online courses. I freaking love what I do because I know this is such an effective way to make an impact in the world. And like I said, this whole channel is dedicated to making entrepreneurship available to everyone. So a little thing you can do to help me out to achieve that mission is just hit that like button and be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified every single time I post a new video. Thank you so much for being here. If you're ready to make your mark on this world, let me know in the comments below and let me know your takeaways because you have a story that matters and you have a voice that matters. Are you with me? I'll see you in the next one. Make sure to check out this video next. Bye.